Yo, what up? It's your boy Excalibur Zero, the music producer you can grow with. And today we're going over the basics, the very basics of how to use Photoshop for music producers, for artists, for anybody who's a musician trying to create content. <laughs> recommend you learning at least Photoshop. If you do not have a graphics designer at your hand or your disposal, you don't have a friend or anybody that you can hire, don't have the budget to hire anybody, highly recommend you learning Photoshop. It's not that difficult. If you can learn your DAW, you can definitely learn Photoshop pretty relatively quickly. So we're going to go over the basics of how to actually use it. What I like to do is go to unblast.com. You can get a lot of free templates on there for like artwork, for music covers, for vinyl record player covers, for CD covers, anything you can think of you can find there so they're free we're gonna download one today and if you don't have the budget to buy Photoshop photop.com it is a free Photoshop basically it's Photoshop for free on a website it's not as fluid or as fast as Photoshop but you're able to do essentially the same things and even load in Photoshop templates so highly recommend checking out that so let's get into it all right so we're gonna load up unblast.com unblast is great for a lot of free templates so we're gonna go ahead and search in music here you have a CD cover here you have computer you have different mock-ups here that you can use uh, for posters or you know music designs and stuff like that. That way, if you're promoting a new album or a new single that you have coming out, you're able to promote it and give it a little bit of style and flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and find one that we like here. Also, please be sure to hit that bell notification, that subscribe button, it really helps the channel out. I appreciate everybody who's been subscribing and tuning in. We just hit 100 subscribers, so thank you to everybody. We're gonna do a special 100 subscriber giveaway here soon. So now that we have the mock-up downloaded for Photoshop, you can open that up and it'll, it should open up automatically with Photoshop, but if it doesn't, just right click and hit open with. All right, so first off, when you see Photoshop, a lot of the times you'll have the move icon uh, automatically highlighted. You'll find that on the left side of the toolbar here. This toolbar on the left has pretty much everything that you need. Shapes, colors, text, all that stuff is gonna be found on this toolbar on the left. We have the move tool placed. The shortcut to that is actually V on the keyboard. So if you ever click another icon, hit V and it'll go back to the move tool. As you can see with this mock-up pulled up, you have the design in the middle and you can zoom in and out by holding Alt and scrolling on your wheel, you'll be able to zoom in and out. So we're gonna go ahead and on the right hand side, you'll see a little eye icon. This means it's invisible. Think of it as like the solo icon when you're soloing your music. It's just gonna pretty much, if you click that button, you'll be able to unhighlight and highlight the little promo that they have on here. So we're gonna delete this layer. Make sure you highlight the layer and you hit delete. And then we're gonna show visible the CD mockup. So you'll see here that this has a folder on it. And this is your layer here. These are the, all the context that actually make this graphic. So it's gonna seem a little confusing at first, so we're gonna break it down very simply. So if you see here, you can click each little icon and unhighlight and highlight to see what actually controls what. So if you wanna change the background color, we're gonna highlight the background and we're gonna choose a color. So here you'll find the paint bucket tool. If you click and hold, you'll be able to see the actual different tool buttons they have as well for color. So I like to use paint bucket or gradient but we're gonna use gradient for this one just to give it a little bit more of a style. And I already have a color default. So with this, we'll click in here. You click one of the pointers and then you choose color and you can pretty much shape the colors that you want. So we're going with purple and then this middle one, we're gonna want a lighter purple. So we click the pointer and then we click the color and we just have a little lighter purple here. And then you click the last point on the bottom, right? and you choose your color. Either click on the actual color here, and it might look a little different for you, but that's okay. It's pretty much the same thing. So after that, we're gonna hit okay. From there, we're gonna add a new layer. So you can add a new layer by hitting create new layer on the bottom right, or you can do control shift N, and that'll pop up a new layer. We'll name this background. So this will be our new background here. And then with the gradient tool highlighted already, we click on the top right, we hold and we drag, and that way we can change our color. So the color already has a different feel to it. So from there, what if we wanted to add text like on the top so to say new single? We'll click this text icon. You'll see the little text tool icon here. You can get these texts for free. I use Defont.com, that's my go-to. There's other text tools that you can use for free as well online, but I usually use Defont. So we're just gonna put in new single. And this one comes up black text, but we want it as white. So with the text, we're gonna go ahead and click the move tool 
you see how when I move this, the shadows move with that. We're gonna hit Control Z to undo. And we're gonna lock these layers. So we don't want anything moving but the, the text. So what I'm gonna do is click the first layer and highlight the last layer and lock all of those. So when we move this single here, it'll be by itself. Then we're gonna double click to highlight or you can double tap on the actual text. After that's pulled up, we're gonna change this to white. So if you wanted it to make it a little cooler and just bring some body to it, I'm not gonna to go too in detail with this, but this is called blending options. You can add different things like stroke, which a stroke is gonna be an outside layer of the actual text. So you'll see that here. So this is a white one, but we're gonna want it to be black. And you could change the size of the actual border around the text. So if you want it a bit smaller, so it pops out a little bit more. And then from here, we can add a drop shadow these different tools here you, you want to mess around with, but they have diff different textures and effects that you can use to really spice up the tool or graphic that you're actually editing. So we're going to add drop shadow and you can see it adds a little small shadow around the actual text here. And you can change the size of that and the spread of it. And we can also change the distance. So how far it is away from the actual text and the, the opacity. So how much you actually see the text. So I'm gonna turn the spread down. And then from here, we'll add the stroke up a little bit more. All right, from here, we're gonna go ahead and change the actual layer inside. So we're gonna unlock this. So we're gonna highlight all, then unlock. So, and then from there, we can place the CD artwork. You'll see it says place CD artwork, so we'll double click it. And from there, it'll open up a new page. So basically, you're gonna to wanna to put whatever artwork you want on the CD on this actual page here, and then you're gonna to wanna to hit save. So I'll look for a picture real quick and I'll drag it in here and I'll hit save to give you an example. So I've placed a new picture in here and you can see the size isn't matched up. But when you first place a, a new picture in Photoshop, you have the option to change the actual size of it. So we're gonna change the size to make it bigger. This is just an example. It's not gonna be a perfect picture, but after that you can hit the move tool or hit V and then it'll place it there. Now say you didn't like the size of it or you accidentally moved the tool so you can't edit it anymore. If you hit Control and T, this will be able to let you transform the actual picture and you can use this to flip it or turn it. All these angles here, these little points that you see on the actual Photoshop, well, you'll be able to adjust that layer here, but we're gonna wanna keep it that size. And say we wanted to add some darkness to this so it's not as bright, you can add a new layer and when you add a new layer, go to the paint bucket tool, which is this little icon here, then click in and you'll see it is black and we'll change the opacity here. So the opacity, change the opacity so it just darkens it up. We'll hit command save. And from there, you'll see that it changes the actual picture on the CD cover here. And you can do the same by changing the artwork Double click the artwork, drag it in your picture, change the size of your picture with these points here for the transform. Clicking out of place and then hitting save. Going back and you'll see that changes the artwork. This is not the prettiest art looking artwork, but this is a simple way to use some of the basic Photoshop features. And those are some of the basic functions that I use. That's a really quick way to make artwork that's very simple. And then from there, if you're trying to export, you can either do quick export or export as. And I usually like to use whatever, you know, if I'm posting on Instagram, the settings for Instagram, if I'm posting on YouTube, for YouTube, the settings for YouTube, whatever it is. So you just change the image width. So we'll do 1080 by 1080. And this will be like a square picture for like Instagram or your artwork or whatever for iTunes, whatever you want. And then you just hit export. And after that, you're done. So those are some basic, very basic, quick tools that you can use to really quickly build some artwork for yourself that's really custom. If you like more content like this and want more in-depth detail of actually how to use Photoshop as opposed to just creating artwork, please let me know. I'll create a video on that. Just let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know how do you create your graphics? Are you using Canva? Are you using Photoshop? Let me know what you use in the comments below. It's your boy Scalibur Zero, the music producer you can go with. Thank you for checking out my video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification if you haven't already. And I'm out.